hi guys welcome to my study compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper mark p1 variant 2 february march 2020 let's get started Write 3.25 p.m. in the 24-hour clock. 3.25 a.m. is 3.25 on the 24-hour clock. To get the equivalent of 3.25 p.m. on the 24-hour clock, we add 12 hours to 3.25. So we have 15.25. Work out the time 7 hours and 36 minutes before 13.26. To get this time, we simply subtract 7 hours 36 minutes from 1326. Under the minute column, we can subtract 36 from 26. So we get 1 hour from the hour column, which becomes 60 minutes under the minute column. So now we have 86 minutes. 86 minus 36 is 50. Under the hour column, 12 minus 7 is 5. So the time is 5.50. Measure the length of the line AB in millimeters. When we measure AB, we get 94 millimeters. AB is the diameter of a circle. Draw the circle. First, we need to get the radius of the circle. So we divide the diameter 94 millimeters by 2. This gives us 47 millimeters. So now we measure the compass width to be 47 millimeters, stand at the midpoint of AB and construct a circle. The temperature on Monday was negative 7 degrees Celsius. The temperature on Tuesday was 5 degrees Celsius lower than on Monday. The temperature on Wednesday was 8 degrees Celsius higher than on Tuesday. Find the temperature on Wednesday. To get the temperature on Tuesday, we subtract 5 degrees Celsius from negative 7 degrees Celsius, which is equal to negative 12 degrees Celsius. To get the temperature on Wednesday, we add 8 degrees Celsius to negative 12 degrees Celsius, which is equal to negative 4 degrees Celsius. Kira has a faulty thermometer. It always shows the temperature as 2 degrees Celsius higher than the actual temperature. The temperature on the thermometer is T degrees Celsius. Write an expression in terms of T for the actual temperature. To get the actual temperature, we need to subtract 2 degrees Celsius from the temperature reading, which is T degrees Celsius. So we have T minus 2 degrees Celsius. Work out the value of x. Give a geometrical reason for your answer. Angles formed at a point add up to 360 degrees. So we have x plus 107 plus 124 equals 360. When we make x the subject, we get x equals 129 degrees. The diagram shows a fair 8-sided spinner. The numbers on the spinner are 3, 4, 4, 7, 7, 7, 8, and 9. The spinner is span once. Write down the probability that the spinner lands on the number 7. This probability is equal to the number of sections on the spinner with a 7, which is 3, divided by the total number of sections, which is 8. Write down the probability that the spinner lands on a number greater than 2. This probability is equal to the number of sections on the spinner with a number greater than 2, which is 8, divided by the total number of sections, which is 8. 8 over 8 is 1. The spinner is span 160 times. Work out the expected number of times the spinner lands on the number 7. To get this number, we multiply the probability that the spinner lands on 7, which is 3 over 8, by 160, which is equal to 60. 
The month of July has 31 days. Calculate the number of seconds in the month of July. To get this number, we multiply the number of days in July, which is 31, by the number of hours in a day, which is 24, by the number of seconds in an hour, which is 3,600. When we type this into the calculator, we get 2,678,400 seconds. A cuboid has length 3 cm, width 2 cm, and height 1 cm. On the 1 cm square grid, draw a net of the cuboid. A cuboid has 6 faces. In this case, 2 of the faces would have the dimensions 3 cm by 2 cm. Another 2 of the faces would have the dimensions 3 cm by 1 cm. Then the remaining 2 faces would have the dimensions 2 cm by 1 cm. Let's take the base as 3 cm by 2 cm. The base would be connected directly to the other 4 faces on all its sides. At the top and bottom, it will be connected to the faces with dimensions 3 cm by 1 cm. Then on the sides, it will be connected to the faces with dimensions 2 cm by 1 cm. Now we've drawn 5 of the faces of the cuboid. The last face with dimensions 3 cm by 2 cm, which is the top of the cuboid, can be connected to any of these 4 sides. In this case, we went with the bottom. Write down the reciprocal of 40. The reciprocal of any number is 1 over the number. So the reciprocal of 40 is 1 over 40. Calculate cube root of 40. Give your answer correct to 4 decimal places. When we type cube root of 40 into the calculator, we get 3.4200, rounded to 4 decimal places. Write the number 40 in standard form. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 4. So we have 4.0. Since we moved the decimal point 1 unit to the left, we multiply 4.0 by 10 raised to the power 1. Write down the gradient of the line y equals 2x minus 3. The line has been expressed in the form y equals mx plus c. So the coefficient of the x term is the gradient of the line and that is 2. Complete the table of values for y equals 2x minus 3. When we plug in x equals negative 2 into the equation, we get y equals negative 7. For x equals 0, we get y equals negative 3. For x equals 3, we get y equals 3. On the grid, draw the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. For x is greater than and equal to negative 2 and less than and equal to 3. On the grid, we plot the points in the table and connect the points with a straight line. Point A has coordinates 6, 4 and point B has coordinates 2, 7. Write AB as a column vector. AB is OB minus OA. OB is 2, 7 and OA is 6, 4. To get the resulting vector, we subtract corresponding elements in both vectors. So 2 minus 6 is negative 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. So we have negative 4, 3. The number of people swimming in a pool is recorded each day for 12 days. Complete the stem and leaf diagram. The key has been given as 1 stroke 3 represents 13 swimmers. For 24, the first number is 2, which means we need to come to this line and write the number after 2, which is 4. 
for 45, the first number is 4, which means we need to come to this line and write the number after 4, which is 5. We need to repeat the same process for all the numbers. When we are done, we need to ensure that the numbers on each line are arranged in ascending order. Find the median number of swimmers. The median is the middle number. To get the position of the middle number, we apply the formula half n plus 1, where n in this case is 12. This gives us 6.5. This means the median is between the 6th and 7th numbers. From the stem and leaf diagram, the 6th number is 26 and the 7th number is 28. And so the median is 26 plus 28 divided by 2, which is equal to 27. A bag contains red marbles, green marbles, and blue marbles only. The ratio of the number of marbles of each color is red is to green is to blue equals 12 is to 5 is to 2. There are 112 more red marbles than green marbles. Work out the number of blue marbles. We've been given the ratio of the number of marbles to be 12 is to 5 is to 2. We've been told there are 112 more red marbles than green marbles. So if we have x green marbles, then there are 112 plus x red marbles. We want to find the number of blue marbles, which is what we are calling y. When we cross multiply and make y the subject, this is what we have. We need to find x. When we cross multiply, this is what we have. When we expand the brackets, 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 112 is 560. When we group like terms, we get 7x equals 560. When we divide both sides by 7, we get x equals 80. Now that we have the value of x, y equals 2 times 80 divided by 5, which is equal to 32. Without using a calculator, work out 15 over 28 divided by 4 over 7. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. In the first step, we have 15 over 28. Then we replace the division with multiplication. Then we bring in the reciprocal of 4 over 7, which is 7 over 4. 7 goes into itself one time and goes into 28 four times. So for the numerator, 15 times 1 is 15. And for the denominator, 4 times 4 is 16. This cannot be simplified further. So we have 15 over 16 as our final answer. The diagram shows a right-angled triangle. Calculate the area. Here is the formula for the area of a triangle. The base B of the triangle is 10.8 cm and the height H is 8.5 cm. When we type this into the calculator, we get 45.9 cm squared. Calculate the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around the shape of the triangle. Before we can get the perimeter, we first need to find the hypotenuse edge of the triangle. We can get this by applying the Pythagoras theorem. This gives us h squared equals 8.5 squared plus 10.8 squared. When we make h the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 13.7437 centimeters. So now the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 8.5 centimeters plus 10.8 centimeters plus 13.7437 centimeters. This gives us 33.0 centimeters rounded to three significant figures.
Ria invests $30,000 at a rate of 2.5% per year compound interest. Calculate the value of her investment at the end of 7 years. Give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. In this case, we need to apply the compound interest formula. Big A represents the final value of her investment, which is what we are finding. Small a represents the initial value of her investment, which is $30,000. R is the annual rate, which is 2.5%, and T is the time duration for the investment, which is 7 years. When we type this into the calculator, this is what we get. We need to leave our answer rounded to the nearest dollar. So we look at the number before the decimal point, which is 0. The number after 0 is 5. So we add 1 to 0, giving us 1. Then we ignore the numbers after the decimal point. So we have $35,661 rounded to the nearest dollar. Simplify. 5 times x raised to the power 0. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So x raised to the power 0 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 9 raised to the power 12 divided by 9 raised to the power w equals 9 raised to the power 4. Find the value of w. Since these two have the same base and they are dividing, their powers subtract. So we have 9 raised to the power 12 minus w. Since the bases on both sides of the equation are equal, then their powers must also be equal. So we have 12 minus w equals 4. When we make w the subject, we get w equals 8. The diagram shows a right angle triangle ABC. Calculate AB. To get AB, we apply Sokatoa to the triangle. This gives us sine 87 degrees equals AB over 4.6 meters. When we make AB the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, we get 2.77 meters rounded to three significant figures. Factorize completely. 3x squared minus 12xy. The terms have a common factor of 3x. When we factor out 3x, we are left with x minus 4y. Expand and simplify. To expand the brackets, each term in the first bracket multiplies all the terms in the second bracket. So m times m is m squared. m times 2 is 2m. Negative 3 times m is negative 3m. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 2m minus 3m is negative m. So we have m squared minus m minus 6. A car travels at a constant speed of 45 kilometers per hour for 5 minutes. Each wheel of the car has radius 25 centimeters. Calculate the number of complete revolutions that a wheel makes during the 5 minutes. To get the number of complete revolutions by a wheel, we divide the distance traveled by the circumference of a wheel. Based on this formula, we can get the distance traveled which is equal to the speed which is 45 km per hour times the time which is 5 minutes. To convert 5 minutes to hours, we divide by 60. This gives us 3.75 kilometers. Here is the formula for finding the circumference of a wheel. The radius r of a wheel is 25 centimeters. This gives us 50 pi centimeters. So now we have 3.75 kilometers divided by 50 pi centimeters. We convert 3.75 kilometers to centimeters by multiplying 3.75 by 10 raised to the power 5. When we type this into the calculator, this is what we get. This means the car makes 2,387 complete revolutions. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. 
see you in the next video bye guys